All right, guys, so somebody in chat just asked me how to get typed out text in OBS. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick example of what it looks like, and then I'll show you how to do it. So on the screen right now, we have this. It's just typed out text, right? It's just a normal text source in OBS, and we have it Type, type that like that. So how, how exactly did we do that? So I'm gonna do all of that from scratch so that you guys get an idea of what to do. And uh, funnily enough, doesn't involve streamer bot or anything. All it involves is OBS and the move transition plugin. So the idea of doing typed out text is you have a regular text source and you add a, you can actually add a move value filter to a text source and then you enter in the text that you wanted to type out and it'll, you can trigger, if you trigger that filter, it will actually trigger the type that text. Let me just show you how to do it instead of explaining how it's done. So first we're gonna start by adding a text, uh, text source. We'll just call this one balls and we'll leave it empty for now, okay? But we'll change the font so it's not so huge. We'll make it just like 128. So we got empty text here, right? So we have this text source here up in the top corner. Let's just drag it. So right now, if it had text, it would look something like this. If it had text, sorry, this is really weird with like inception-y stuff. Um, if, if we had text, it would look something like this, but we're gonna start with blank text. So here's how you do it, right? If you right click in the text source, go into filters, Go to uh, add, you wanna add a move value filter. So you will need to install the move transition plugin. So if you don't know what that is, uh, I'll leave a link down below for where you can install uh, move transition. Uh, once you have it installed, you'll see this move value plugin or filter. You can just add that to the text source itself. Yep, imagine getting banned in a YouTube video. Gotcha, prank you son. Um, anyway. <laughs> so you add the move value filter um, and then you want to set this um, under move value type, set it to typing, then set the setting to text, okay? Then you type in the text that you want to appear. So it'll be like, beep boop, this is El Robot's computer door, okay? So that's the text that you're going to type out, whatever you put in here. Um, and then we'll set this custom duration uh, to be like, I don't know, three seconds. So it's gonna type out all of this text over the span of like three seconds. Um, I also like to change the easing to no easing. Uh, you can experiment with that and you'll quickly see why I recommend no easing for this. But once you do that, now all you do is you turn on the filter. So if I turn on this move value filter, it types out the text over the span of three seconds because that's what we decided. But that's like just a basic basic rundown of how you do typed out text. And then you can also add another filter. Uh, so we can make a duplicate of this here and we can make this our clear filter. So if you want to clear the text, um, we can just put like empty text here and then set the duration to, uh, you can't set it to zero, but you can set it to 10 milliseconds. That's the lowest you can set it to. Um, and this filter here will clear the text. So we'll actually set it back to like empty text if I click in it. And then we can run this again and it'll type out the text. Now, as for like, how do you customize what text goes in here with like something like streamer bot? Like, let's just say, say you wanna show um, a subscriber's name or something like that. We're gonna leave that for a different video cause that's a little bit more involved, but I just wanted to give you like uh, the basics of getting typed out text using just OBS. Um, but it, it is possible to use something like StreamerBot to include like a subscriber's name inside of this field here. Uh, it will just require a bit more work, but uh, we can we can do that in another video. But that's it for now. Um, I hope that helps someone out on the internet. Um, yep. I don't know why I still upload videos to this Voz channel because like I could probably upload these videos to the main channel. I don't know if I should do that. Should I do that? Anyway. Um, give me money on Patreon because I just spent the last like five, 10 minutes answering a question. So I, I'm pretty sure I deserve Patreon money now. I think, is that how it works? I think that's how it works. 
Also, uh, go join the Discord and all that other stuff. Just, just follow me everywhere, okay? Like, I'm all, the only reason why I make these videos is for clout anyway. So, like, just, just do it. And give me tons of money as well. So I can go live in a streamer palace. Alright? Cool. Alright, thanks. Bye.